Hey everyone, so here's a question on perimeter and area. The question is, a garden is 50 meter long and 42 meter broad. A path of 2 meter wide is built outside and around it. Find the area of the path in a hectares. So to explain this, I have taken a figure. They have given a garden long and broad means length and breadth is given. So length is 50 meter and breadth is 42 meter. Suppose the inner rectangle is a garden. So this will be 50 meter and this will be 42 meter right I'm taking this rectangle as R1 now what they have said is they have built a path of 2 meter wide which is across or which is around it means around this garden that is outside towards it they have built a 2 meter path so here we'll get this path right so you can see this portion will be a path now we have to find out the area of the path so how to find out this area of the path now to find this area what we're going to do we're going to find out the area of this bigger rectangle and the area of the smaller rectangle so inner rectangle we know length and breadth is given but what about the outer rectangle we don't know what is this so it's very simple since we have given the path is 2 meter that is this is 2 meter so around it it will be 2 meter right so from this we're going to find out the length and breadth of the outside rectangle now if you look here the whole breadth of the outer rectangle which is r2 i'm taking so this is 42 and here i'm adding 2 meter and i'm adding 2 meter so 4 meter i'm adding extra so it's going to become 46 so this will be 46 meter similarly if you talk about the length this length so the length of the inner rectangle is 50 and then 2 meter this side and 2 meter this side which makes it 54 meter so this is 54 meter so we got the length and breadth of the outer one and inner rectangle now we're going to find out the area of h so here is a solution so this is about the r1 in case of rectangle 1 they have given length is 50 meter and breadth is 42 meter we're going to find out the area of r1 first so area of r1 is equal to we know area of rectangle is length into breadth so multiply 50 and 42 so 50 meter multiplied by 42 meter so when you multiply this we get the answer as 2100 meter square similarly we're going to find out the area of the rectangle 2 so for the r2 we know length is 54 meter and breadth is 46 meter then area of r2 will be so area of r2 is again equal to length into breadth so it is 54 meter multiplied by 46 meter so when you multiply this we get the answer 2484 meter square now to find out the area of the path like I told before we have to subtract the area of the bigger rectangle and the smaller one. So from bigger rectangle we are going to subtract the area of the smaller one. So area of the path will be so area of path will be equal to R2 minus R1. So R2 is 2484 minus 2100 when you subtract this we'll get the answer 384 so this is equal to 384 meter square but they have given the question that they want the answer in a hectares so we're going to convert this meter square into hectares but we know that one hectare one hectare is equal to 10,000 meter square now here hectares are hectare is greater than meter so here meter square when you convert into hectares you have to divide it when you convert smaller unit in the greater one you have to divide it so it will be equal to so area of the garden or the area of the path will be so area of the path will be equal to we have divide 384 by 10,000 so 
10,000 and here we will get hectare. Or when you convert this into decimal, now since there are four zeros in the denominator, so what you should do here is you don't have to divide it. Write the number 384 and this is hectare. From the right hand side, you have to place a zero, you have to place a decimal after four digit. So here it's like one, two, three digits are already there. Fourth digit is not there. So I'm gonna take zero. I'm gonna put zero here and then decimal and again zero. That's it. So answer is this 0 0.0384 hectare. I hope it's clear how we have solved. In case you have any further questions or doubts, you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.